Low matriculants, um, incorporating students who are based in the metric, geography teachers, and um, people who are curious in learning more about geography. Um, today's topic is radiation fog and the valley climate on geography. Yes, so radiation fog, I think you know what radiation means and fog means. Yes, so let me just get into the most important word of these two words, which is fog. So basically, we're going to talk about fog. Yes, so but the topic is radiation fog. Yes. And even during exams, they are going to ask using the word radiation fog, not only fog. Yes, they can use fog, but yes, the topic is radiation fog. So let's talk about um, fog. How does fog or radiation fog happen and so on? I think you know fog. Like generally, you, you've heard of the word fog. Fog is is a water droplet, I can say, that forms during night. They start around maybe 1 here in South Africa, around 1 a.m. Yes, late more like early, 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 very, very early morning. Yes, just after midnight. Yes, or I can say they start midnight and so on. So these water droplets, they form uh, during night and appear very much during the, the morning. I can also say it's, it's a kind of a mist. The thing that you said, uh, it's, it's a mist. Yes, I can, all, I can also say it's a mist. Yes, so these are the water droplets that we experience during the, the morning. They, are, they, they appear just before the sun yes you can see them just before the sun because the sun if the sun rises they will they are going to evaporate and so on so let's get into the topic um let's say this is the land mm, let's say this is the land yes let's say this is the land Let's say this is the land. Yes. Let's say this is the land, right? Let's say this is the land. Okay. You know the land during the night cools, cools down. Yes. So the land during the night cools um, due to terrestrial radiation. Let me just show you some terrestrial radiation. You can say this is terrestrial radiation. This is terrestrial radiation. Going up, going up, going up. Terrestrial radiation. Terrestrial radiation occurs to the land and the land becomes cool. The terrestrial radiation. Okay, let me um, say um, yes. This is terrestrial radiation, and then um, think you know. As I said the land is going to be cool. The land becomes cooler, and the air above the land condenses and meets the dew point. Or the temperature of the air above the land reaches the the Q point, yes, forming this fog or radiation, forming water droplets. I can say. And then this the, the air above the the ground is going to form. Some clouds like water droplets because it gone through condensation process 
right? Yes, so these are the water droplets. And that is why during morning we experience, as I already said, um, dew, water droplets like, and so on. And also, in the windstreams of our cars, um, you can also see um, these water droplets during morning. Yes, and also our cars have um, some some buttons um, that can move away the the. the, the, the the fog or the buttons that can prevent the fog and also the lights if you you you're driving in an area that has a, a fog or experiencing much fog you are advised to use your your fog lights you know yes and the car also has those fog lights but mostly let's talk about that um, fog yes you can remove fog and so on and also mist using your buttons in the in the car um, then for our notes we can say line calls right the line calls due to generation radiation due to terrestrial Radiation land goes due to terrestrial radiation. I think you can see terrestrial radiation, the warm air going up, causing the land to be cooler, and therefore, um, also the air above the land cools, the air above. The land also cools, also cools. They begin to form, I can say the air above the ground, which is dew point. The air above the land reaches the dew point the dew point the dew point temperature and begin begin um, I can say the condensation process begin to condense you can say Condense and form and form cloud clouds like clouds like water water droplets droplets on the ground. So these water droplets are much similar to clouds, right? But it's a vice versa now. Clouds, we experience clouds on the ground, you know? Yeah, why in a normal situation we experience or we see clouds um, on the sky. And then the land, you know, is going to, to have dew, water-like droplets, water droplets water droplets droplets yes going to have dew water droplets and so on during morning you know we experience or we see dew during morning water droplets like you know yeah that's your mist and so on but they're okay just before we see them just be for the sun Sun rises because when the sun rises, um, the fog is lifted upwards by evaporation process. Yes, um, 
then after I can say after the sun has risen the fog the fog or I can say the radiation fog this is F this is fog the fog is lifted this is lifted upwards this is upwards q2 by evaporation process by evaporation process yes so during morning you know the sun is going to come out then the sun rays will hit the land um, it's like transferring a heat to the land and then evaporation will will start to to operate lifting up this um, radiation fog and so on that's it guys thank you so much for your time um, see you in the next lesson and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and like guys and please comment thank you so much see you